We got a new product from a classic distiller, Baron Jaeger, honey and bourbon on the next Beverage Underground. I say, hey! I love it when we get new products, especially from classic providers like Baron Jaeger. Now, you know, in the last several years with mixology and a lot of bars and drinks and cocktails, we're looking for natural sweeteners. So simple syrup, obviously the mojito brought simple syrup back, but believe me bartenders, it was, we used to use it. And now then there's agave syrup, which is great, man, it's made from the agave plant, natural sweetener, and that's real good, but honey is really the natural sweetener and Baron Jaeger since the 15th century has made the classic honey liqueur and now for the first time we're going to mix it up with Baron Jaeger honey and bourbon and this is the real deal when you taste this different from other honey bourbon bourbon honeys honey infused you can taste the taste of real real honey we're going to mix it up we'll be right back from behind the bar Testing one, two, testing one, two. All right, I'm ready. Where I like it the best, Smokey, back behind the bar at the fire pit, and we have a new product that we talked about. This is Baron Jaeger Honey and Bourbon, and we're going to mix it up the way you would in the bar. Now, typically, products like these, a lot of times, they make cocktails, and Baron Jaeger has come up with some great proprietary drinks, but a lot of times people are going to drink it. They'll ask for Baron Jaeger honey and bourbon with Coke or with ginger ale. I'll tell you, I mix it up with some, um, I actually use Boylan's ginger ale and Verner's and Jones. There's some really high quality uh, ginger ales. You want to stay with, you got the natural sugar uh, that comes from the honey. Stay with the natural sugar in the cocktails. Now, I want to make a couple of other drinks then different applications because bartenders and we're always looking for drinks that we are familiar with somewhat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a variation of a white Russian in that we're going to make a cream drink with it. I'm going to pre take a martini and that's the one thing that you can always do. Any drink that's a martini, you can always create it into a cocktail. So I'm going to pre line the glass with some caramel and I'm going to start my mixing vessel going. I'm going to put an ample pour of my Baron, Baron Jaeger honey and bourbon, one in the mixing vessel, one in my highball glass. You can use products, uh, coffee liqueur and an and a Irish cream liqueur. I'm going to use a little bit of variation. I'm going to put tiramisu, which is an espresso coffee liqueur, and I'm going to use Dooley's, which is a toffee cream liqueur, as my modifiers. Now in the highball glass, the one that would be more like a white Russian, we would add a little bit of half and half in that drink. I like to roll it in this situation, but you can shake it up real good too. And then we're going to make our martini pour. I'm going to shake this one up. I'm going to shake this one up and our martini pour. And then we're going to pour it into our caramel glass already pre-laced with caramel. Man, the perfect pour. And there you go. Now, one other thing, you know, the bar's changed a lot, and there's some new products at the taps, too. And one of the new products at the taps is Crispin. And Crispin is a hard cider. There's some other kinds out there. But what I'll do here in this application, we'll pour a little bit of the Baron Jaeger honey bourbon, and we'll top it with Crispin. And this is our Crispy B. Very, very popular at the Fire Pit City Grill. You know, a lot of times bartenders and people will buy a bottle and they'll say, what do we do with it? Well, here's five great easy examples of how to mix the new high quality, pure honey flavor of the classic German liqueur, Baron Jaeger. Their new product is Baron Jaeger. Honey and bourbon, awesome and iced tea. Happy summer to you from the Beverage Underground. We're pouring it on and connecting the industry.